Hello, I'm Lawrence from Mountain Trips and I'm going to show you how to tie a bowline. To tie a bowline, all you have to do is take the loop, the end of the rope, through wherever you're going to tie it. So I'm going to tie it through my harness. So I'm going to take it through my harness. Now, the complicated bit is getting the next stage right. You have to make a loop here, not on this end of, not on this end of the rope, but on the other end, and you have to make a loop like that. The way that you can tell is that this loop here, the single bit of the rope, is actually coming out from underneath that one there. So I've got the two ropes together and this loop, this bit of the strand is coming out from underneath the loop I've just made. There's a little story that goes behind this. This is your rabbit and that's your rabbit hole. So your rabbit comes out your rabbit hole, it goes round the back of the tree and then it goes back down the rabbit hole. And you end up with a knot that looks like that. Tighten it all up. And then a stopper knot at the end to make it safe. And there you have a bowling. When you tie a figure of eight knot or a bowling, really important that you actually do a stopper knot afterwards. The stopper knot checks that your tail of rope here is actually long enough and it also acts as a bit of a backup as well. So what you have to do is take your tail of rope and you're wrapping it around the main line here. So I'm going to take my tail, wrap it around the main line of the rope and then back over itself. I then go around the main line again and back over itself. I've created two loops in the actual tail there. So I'm going to put the tail underneath those those two loops there. And then I'm going to pull it tight so it's actually touching the main knot itself and now I've got my stopper knot. And that is how to tie a bowline with a stopper knot. <laughs> <laughs>